All right, uh, we're going to continue to uh, chapter six, section one. Uh, last part we left off, we did um, matrix addition and matrix uh, scalar multiplication, not matrix multiplication. But now we're going to jump into matrix multiplication, which is significantly different than adding matrices together or multiplying a matrix by a simple number. This is where you take one matrix and you multiply it by another matrix. Now, what I'm going to do here is I kind of actually want more of a blank canvas. Uh, let me change this up real quick so I can get this to disappear. Um, all right. So let's say, for instance, um, we have a, a two by two matrix. Uh, I'll just, uh, we'll, we'll make an example here. So let's say this is two, three, negative one, and five. Um, and I'm gonna multiply this by another two by two matrix. So let's say it's one, four, I don't know, seven, and uh, zero, why not? Okay. We're gonna, how we multiply, what we end up with here, it's pretty, ah, it's pretty interesting, is we're gonna multiply not specific numbers together, we're gonna multiply entire rows by entire columns. So if I wanna know what the A11 position is of this matrix, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply the first row by the first column of these two matrices and get those, put those values together. So I'm going to be multiplying the first row by the first column. So when I do that, we'll have uh, the first row element times the first column element. That's 2 times 1. So 2 times 1, which makes 2, of course. And then I'm going to multiply the next element by the next element. So the next, row, next element in this row times the next element in this column. So 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. And we add those values together to get the uh, value that goes in my new matrix. So 2 plus 21 makes 23. So 23 is the value of the first row, first column element in this new matrix. So you're multiplying an entire row by an entire column, and you're adding each element there together. So if I want to finish this example, uh, if I want to know what the A12 element here is, right, the first row, second column, I'm going to multiply the first row of this matrix times the second column of this matrix, and that's going to get me the value that goes uh, here, the first row, second column element of my new matrix. So uh, one element at a time, the 2 times the 4 first, 2 times 4 makes 8, and then the next element times the next element, so the 3 times zero, uh, three times zero is zero. So this is eight plus zero. So an eight plus zero is eight. So that element is eight. Now, if I wanna know the second row, first column, uh, element, second row, first column element in my new matrix, I'm gonna multiply the second row by the first column uh, of these two matrices together add them up, add those numbers up, and we'll have that uh, value. So one thing, first one at a time, negative one times one, negative one times one is negative one, and then five times seven, we'll add that to five times seven, five times seven is uh, 35. So it's negative one plus 35 makes 34, so 34 is the element there. And then lastly, if I want to find the second row, second column element, then I'm gonna have to multiply the second row by the second column of this. So that's gonna be negative one times four, which makes negative four, and then five times zero, uh, which is zero. So negative four plus zero is negative four. So that is your uh, matrix multiplied together, which is interesting. Now, what you, some of you might be onto this, I'm not sure, uh, we'll talk about this coming up, but what if you ha didn't have the same amount of rows as columns? For example, like, what if this was a, what if this matrix here was 
a little bit longer. What if I had a, a three by two matrix here? Like, let me just add some random numbers like four and six or something. Okay. Um, how can I multiply those together? Because if you try to multiply, let's say the first row by the first column, you don't have the same number of values there. Two times one, of course, you know, three times seven, of course, but what would end up multiplying with four? There's not a third number here to multiply with that four. And so what, what happens is we can't, we can't multiply these matrices together. It's impossible. Um, it's important that our dimensions line up properly so that we have the same number of elements in this row as the same number of elements in this column so that we can actually uh, multiply them together. So let's move on. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this as we go, of course, we'll do more examples, but let's get into some of the notes. So since you're multiplying the elements of a row in one matrix, the elements of a column of the other matrix, you must have the same number of elements from the row to the column. So this is what I was just referring to. You know, we can't do a two by two matrix times a three by two matrix because uh, it just simply didn't add up, right? Um, we didn't have the the enough numbers to put together. So that's what this sentence is saying here. Now here's a way, here's how you determine it, what matrices you can multiply together and which ones you can't. So whatever your n by n matrix is times another n by n matrix. Uh, and this isn't very math technical lingo. So if you're a really math geek, uh, you'll notice that this is probably not how you should write it, but for our purposes, it's fine. It'll make the point. Uh, notice the values I've circled here, the n and the m value here. These dimensions must be the same for the multiplication to be possible. So for example, if I had a three by four matrix, I could only multiply this with a four by something else matrix, four by two, for example. If these two values in the middle are the same, that means I can do my matrix multiplication and it'll work out just fine. So those two values have to be the same. This indicates that you have the correct number of elements by the correct number of elements so that everything can be put together. You don't have any extra elements that don't fit anywhere. Uh, like uh, we had here before I erased it. But, uh, and another neat feature about this, okay? And I've, I've emphasized the fact that those two values are the same here, right? If these two values are the same, the leftover numbers are the dimensions of the new matrix. So if I had a three by four matrix, so let me make that up real quick. Three rows, four columns, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? I'm not gonna waste time putting numbers in them, but, and I multiplied it by a four times two matrix. So that's a, uh, oops, we'll come back to that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Uh, I'll be left with, my answer will be a three by two matrix. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, like this. Uh, which is kind of neat as well. Uh, so some tricks about dimensions that's important to remember. We can only multiply matrices together if they have uh, these two values in the middle being the same, equivalent. So. We can do a three by three matrix times a, uh, should really write these differently. We can do a three by three matrix times a three by one matrix all day long because these values are the same, but I cannot do a three by three matrix times, let's say a two by three matrix uh, because these values in the middle are not the same, uh, it wouldn't work. So these values have to be the same. And if they are the same, uh, just change this one for fun. If these values are the same, then the remaining outside values, excuse me, the remaining outside values are the dimensions of your answer. Your answer will have three rows and five columns if you had this type of matrix. Uh, neat stuff, neat stuff. So let's try it in uh, example four, u times x. So notice that this is a one by three matrix and we're doing u times x, so we're doing u first. Now, remember, it's important because 
u times x will not be the same as x times u. Okay, u times x this is a one by three matrix times a three uh, by one matrix. So we can multiply these together because you'll notice that these two values in the middle are both threes, they're both the same. So I can multiply these two matrices together, it'll work just fine. And what will I be left with? My answer will simply be a one by one matrix. So let's see how that happens. So we're gonna do one, uh, we'll do this matrix, one, negative one, three times this matrix, four, two, negative one. Remember you're multiplying row by column, remember. So we're going to multiply this entire first row by this entire first column. Then we add up all those numbers. So 1 times first element, first element. 1 times 4 is 4. Second element, second element. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So plus negative 2. Or you can just say minus 2, I guess. And then third element by third element. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So this would be plus negative 3. And those values all equal, all add up to... Um, negative one. So my answer is simply the one by one matrix negative one. Because remember in matrices you multiply an entire row by an entire column and you add those values together to get that element. Uh, it's kind of a funny example but it, it's an example. And, it, and you can see how the three, the one by three part uh, lined up with the three by one part. The three elements here combined with the three elements there um, and we add them up, we were left with that one by one matrix. All right, so let's try um, example five. A times B and B times C. Let's do A times B first. So A is, uh, I'm going to write them down, two, three, negative one, and negative one, zero, two. We're going to multiply it with B. B is one, negative one, negative one, zero, one, two. Now notice this is a two by three matrix and we're multiplying it with a three by two matrix. So again, these values in the middle line up, they're the same, so my matrix multiplication does work. My answer is going to be a two by two matrix. So we'll have four elements there, two by two matrix. So let's go ahead and do our multiplication. So remember, we're doing rows by columns. So if I do the first row by the first column, I'll get the first element in this matrix. So two times one is two, three times negative one is negative three, and negative one times one is negative one. So we got two minus three minus one, which is negative two. So negative two is a value uh, of the first row, first column element in my answer. All right, if I want to find the first row, second column element, uh, I'm going to do the first row by the second column. So 2 times negative 1, 3 times 0, and negative 1 times 2. Uh, so this makes negative 4. Uh, so negative 4 is the solution there. And if I want to find the Second row, first column element, then I'm going to multiply the second row by the first column. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 0 times negative 1 is 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. So negative 1 plus 0 plus 2 is positive 1. And then lastly, my second row, second column element will be my second row times my second column. So that's going to be negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, 0 times 0, which is 0, and 2 times 2, which is 4. So 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5. So my matrix, let's make it look a little bit nicer. My answer is negative 2, negative 4, 1, 5. That matrix there. That's just A times B, remember. Now we're going to do B times C. So let me clear this off. We'll do B times C. So B times C. B is 1, negative 1 negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and C is 1, negative 1, negative 3, 2. All right, so let's pay close attention here. We have a 3 by 2 matrix here, 
times a two by two matrix here. So again, the middle numbers are matching, so this does work. And the dimensions of my answer will be three by two. So my answer will be three rows, two columns. So let's try to figure out what goes in each of those. So remember, row by column here, row by column. So we're gonna do the first row by the first column. So one times one is one, and negative one times three is uh, positive three. So one plus three is four, so that element is four. All right, first row, second column, one times negative one, negative one times two is negative two. So negative one plus negative two makes negative three. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not making any mistakes throughout this, by the way, because I didn't do this math beforehand. So it's kind of banking that I'm not gonna mess anything up by accident. I feel like I'm kind of going a little bit quick. All right, so now the second row, first column, so we'll do second row times first column, negative one times one, and zero times negative three. So negative one plus zero ends up being negative one. Second row, second column, second row by the second column. So negative one times negative one is positive one, and zero times two is zero. So one plus zero is one. All right, and we're almost there. We need the third row, uh, first column. So third row by first column, one times one is one, plus two times negative three, which is negative six. One minus six is negative five. So there's that value. And then lastly, we have the third row by second column. So one times negative one is negative one, and two times two is four. So negative one plus four is negative, or positive three. Uh, so that value is three. And there's your answer to the matrix B times C. All right. Uh, okay, we'll finish this up real quick. This is gonna really emphasize the point that you can, that um, A times B matrix is not going to be the same as B times A matrix. Uh, you know, normally in math, if I multiply two things together, it's the same the other way around, but not when it comes to matrices. So it's we'll see that play out here. So if I wanna do A times B, I'm going to do 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, negative 1. This is A times B, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. First, notice this is 3 by 2, and this is 2 by 2. Now, this works. We have 2 and 2 here, uh, so that's good. I can do my multiplication. I'll be left with a 3 by 2 matrix as an answer. So 3 row, 2 column matrix will be my answer. So let me go ahead and quickly do that math. Uh, we're gonna do the first row by first column, two times one and zero times negative one, that value is two. First row, second column, two times one and zero times negative one is zero, so that's also two. Uh, then we'll do second row, first column, one times one is one, three times negative one is negative three, so that's gonna be negative two. You add them together. Uh, second row, second column, one times one is one. Three times negative one is negative three. So one minus three again is negative two. Uh, and then third row, first column, zero times one is zero. And negative one times negative one is a positive one. So zero plus one is one. And then lastly, uh, Zero times, it's the same thing if you haven't caught on yet. Zero times one is zero. Negative one times negative one is positive one. So zero plus one is one. So there's your solution. This is the A times B matrix. Uh, now let's do B times A. We'll see how that goes. Let's clear this off. We'll do B times A. So B is one, one, negative one, negative one. And we're multiplying it with A which is two, zero, one, three, zero, negative one. So first point out, this is two by two matrix times a three by two matrix. And you'll notice these numbers in the middle are not the same, which means this matrix multiplication does not work at all. And it is not possible to do B times A. So there is no answer for B times A. 
And again, why can't we do this? Well, if I try to do the first row by the first column, I have two elements here and three elements here. And I can't do it if they're not the same number. They're, they're, they have to both be the same equivalent number of elements there for me to put them all together. I can't do this, so b times a doesn't exist. We can't actually do b times a. Uh, so let's do c times b. Uh, so c times b is 2, 2, 1, 1. And uh, b is 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. So I have a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2. Uh, so somehow got red now. Anyway, uh, my hand hit the keyboard and it's all good. All right, so two and two, those are the same. That works. I'm left with a two by two matrix, and my answer is also going to be a two by two matrix. So let's see what elements go there. Oh, yeah. Okay, those aren't going to raise. Um, so first row by first column, two times one is two. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So that's going to be simply 0. All right. First row by second column, it's the same exact thing. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So 2 minus 2 will also be 0. Uh, second row by, or by first column, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And uh, lastly, Second row, second column, one times one is one, and one times negative one is negative one. One minus one is also zero. So matrix, yeah, it exists, but it's all zero. That's that's fine, I guess. Um, but that's what you get when you do uh, B or C times B. C times B. But what happens if you do B times C, though? That's that's the kicker. Now, uh, this isn't going to erase, so I'm going to... I'm just going to do it on this slide here because of that issue I had, this part, like the stuff that this stuff doesn't erase. So I'll just do it on the slide. Oh, wait, no, this stuff won't erase either. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just erase all of this. Don't save. Great. Oops. Sorry for my clumsiness there. All right. So uh, B times C, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, times C, which is 2, 2, 1, 1. All right, so uh, again, 2 by 2 is going to leave us with a 2 by 2 answer. 1 times 1, 2 times 1. 1 times 2, or I must have said that wrong, but 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So you can already tell that this matrix is different than the one before. Uh, then first row by second column, it's the same thing. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1, so that's also going to be 3. And now we'll do the second row first column. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then... Lastly, second row, second column, same thing, negative 2 plus negative 1 also ends up being negative 3. So it's interesting. C times B had the matrix of all zeros, but B times C was the matrix uh, 3, 3, negative 3, negative 3. So it's, it's important which one we do first because we're, we are, the reason why they're different is in one you're using the row and the other one you're using the column. When you flip the other way around, you're doing the row by the column. Or, you know, it's 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 not the same thing. Uh, so they are going to be different, and it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. So that's matrix multiplication. I'm uh, sorry if this video is a little bit too long, but I hope it helps, um, especially if you end up being absent or you're looking for sort of help under your review. I'll see you guys in the next one, Chapter 6.2. Bye.